What's up, YouTube? This is the second time I've tried to call them. When the person gets on the phone, you'll understand exactly what I'm calling about. Are you the store manager? Uh, no sir, she's out of store today. Okay, uh, what type of manager are you? Assistant manager? I'm one of the co-managers here. One of the co-managers? Okay, I came in I came in last night, I want to say it was around 10 o'clock, and you know, we bought a few things, then when we go to leave, the guy in the yellow vest decided he wanted to try to stop us. We showed him receipt. I showed him I had a receipt. Went to keep walking. He grabs the buggy. No, I need the I need the receipt. The problem is, I don't legally have to show anybody my receipt. You know, okay. once I buy stuff, it's my personal property. The receipt's my personal property. I don't have to show anybody what I got. You know, it's invasion of privacy. It's illegal. Okay. He thought he was going to be cute, and he grabbed the buggy and thought he was going to try to stop me from leaving the store. And I said, I don't have no legal right to have to show you anything. You cannot detain me by any means. Unless you have reasonable doubt that I've stole something, there's no legal reasoning to stop me. And then they're going to settle at the Waffle House. He says, oh, well, you're wearing a Waffle House hat. I'll just come to your job. Oh, really? So, okay. that needs to be situated. Because if, if he comes to my job and tries to cause any issues with my job, I'm not only going to have him arrested, but I'm also going to be suing Walmart. I got you. So this was 10 o'clock last night? Yeah. What door did you go out? Grocery? Grocery side. Grocery is the only one that's still open. Uh, you got your receipt with you? I don't have it Tell with me. It it's it's at the house, at the house in one of the bags. we got to look through it, but we can find the receipt. Okay. I was just... Can you give me a description of yourself from last night, what you were wearing, so we can find you on the video and go back? And I was wearing a black... I came through the cigarette aisle. Okay. I was wearing a black hat. said Waffle House on it. I don't remember. I think I was wearing my red jacket, my red hoodie. And it was me, my okay. wife, and my son. Okay. I had on a red long sleeve shirt and a pair of gray Alabama sweatpants. But, I mean, I didn't appreciate him grabbing the buggy and everything and then, of course, making the comments saying he'll just come to my job. And I'm like, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not cool. And you didn't happen to catch it there, that person's name, did you? It was the guy that wears the yellow vest. He looks like kind of a Mexican mixed with a Korean. I'm, I'm thinking he might be like Hawaiian or Spanish. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. He, he's a dark-skinned boy. He's in there all the time at okay. night time. Okay. Yeah, I'll go back and we'll pull the video and we'll address it. I, I apologize. I mean, that's, that's not cool at all. So. Tell him we don't remember uh, the Pacific time, but it was between 9.30 to 10.30. Yeah, and I mean, I normally don't call and complain too much, but, you know. it's it, a job. It's every single time we come in there. And I know they always try to say, oh, we'd pick them at rent. It, I would say it's random if it wouldn't almost every single time we come into the store. I got you. Wait, I got yeah, most, of, most of the time it's going to be on March it was at not bad. Tw uh, 22, I don't that, but. It was at 220135 is what it said. 220135, so that's what? 10... Okay. 1001. Yeah, 1001. Okay. And, um, uh -huh. like I said, we come in there all the time, and I know what his issue is. I can already tell you what his issue is. When y'all had the PlayStation Classics still at a hundred dollars, 
I found them online for, I think it was like 70 bucks, 70 or $75. And y'all don't fry And I come up there and, you know, I was trying to tell them, look, y'all's website still says y'all price match, even though y'all might have changed the store policy, this website still said y'all price match. He got mad because I was trying to tell him, I was like, it don't matter if y'all say the store policy, if y'all still advertise that you price match, you're still supposed to price match. You know, uh -huh. false advertising Every and all. Time we come Which I left it alone, and I walked off and left it alone, but I did call, you know, corporate and ask them about it, and they said, yes, that is something wrong on the website, we have changed it now, they apologize, and they sent me a gift card to correct that issue. You know, which I told yeah. them, I was like, I'm not worried about that, but y'all need to change it on the website. You know, if, if y'all don't price match no more, you need to change it. But ever since then, yeah. every time I come in there, I've gotten stopped. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll re I'll review that stuff from last night, and we'll address it. So, I appreciate um, it. I, I do apologize. Not a problem. You said your name was what? Eric. Eric. <laughs>